Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. In our earlier video, what we have covered is sprint planning and followed by we have seen about capacity planning as well. And we have seen how task board is used for daily activities and daily scrum calls. In this video, what we are going to see is retrospective meeting. Retrospective meeting should happen at end of the sprint and assume like today is the end of the sprint and one more thing if you see here retrospective is not showing up here because it is an extension which needs to be installed by default it won't be available so in order to install an extension what you need to do is just click on this icon and here you will find browse marketplace so just select this which will navigate you to microsoft marketplace here you will find various extensions which is available for azure devops now we need retrospective now let's search it and if you see the first one this is the one we need and it is developed by microsoft so in and it is free so just select this and click on get it free and we need to select the organization name from here so this is our organization so let me click on install it got installed just click on proceed to organization and currently we are in our organization let me click on the project and under boards if you see retrospect is now added so let me select this so it should be noted that retrospect is added across all the projects in the organization and currently we are in our project and the retrospective Boards are specific to each team and if you just switch over to each team, it will show a different, different retrospective. And now we don't have any boards as of now for our team. Let's create one. Just click on create board and we need to provide a name to our retrospective board. And here is the title. Let me provide it. This retrospective belongs to sprint one. So we are doing retrospective meeting at the end of sprint one. So let me give it as and how many words per user and here you can set the value to minimum of three and I'm going to provide it as four and just leave this include team assessment as it is we want this assessment as well I will showing up after creating the board and here if you see do not display the names in the feedback in case if you do not want to see the name who had provided the feedback just enable this and here if you come down these are templates so by default it is like what went well and what didn't go well in the sprint so these two options are there and if you switch to some, there are various templates available let's say for example the good bad and ideas are there and start doing it stop doing it and continue doing it likewise it will be there i'm going with good or bad ideas and here in case if you want additional column just click on this and here you can add additional column and in case if you want to change the logo of this you can simply change it and color coding as well it is there so you can change it and if you don't want any column just click on delete and I don't want these two column so I just disabled it and now if you just go to permissions this board is actually visible to every member in this organization do you want this to happen actually I want this to be visible to only to my team so I just enable this and the rest of them seems to be good let me save it so now retrospective board is created and here if you just see you will find a drop down in case if you want to switch to some other board you can just do so from here in future sprint and all we will be having multiple retrospective board over here you can simply switch over and whatever the template we have selected that is appearing up here what you feel good in this particular sprint and what you feel bad in the sprint so these and all will be available so first let's proceed to provide feedback of good in retrospective meeting every team member need to add this so everyone will have access to this board and this board will automatically sync so as soon as the other teammates are adding up their thoughts into it it will automatically show up here the scrum master will provide time so that every team member will add their feedback whatever they felt in the particular sprint they will be providing the feedback over here so let me add one more for this 
so currently we are in collect tab so we are collecting the feedback and here if you see two feedback are now added and which is in bad third party vendor actually taking time to respond because of it some issue where happened so this is one of the thing we need to address and after that we were late I mean we missed to identify the missing files on time so few users were impacted so this is one of the issue which didn't went good in this particular sprint now the scrum master needs to make sure that everyone have completed adding the feedback and then before we proceed I like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so I request you to hit the bell icon and super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute I would really appreciate it so now we will proceed to group tab so the main purpose of group tab is to categorize or group the related feedback let's say for example if these two feedback are actually related you can just club together and if you just click on this it will show up here in case if you want to ungroup it you can simply go over here so simple and now once this is done we will proceed to vote so we will ask the team members to vote this particular feedback so what is the purpose of voting this so in case if it is having a maximum vote then it is one of the prayer item we need to address so that the scrum master will provide two more minutes for voting and this time every team member will go here under vote and they will be adding up this vote initially while creating the board if you remember I have provided the maximum number of voting allowed right so that you can provide here see I have provided maximum of 4 so that is why it is not allowing beyond that so your words is 4 so let me I am providing 2 words for this and I am providing 1 word for this and 1 more for this and that's it 4 words I have polled it now once every member is polled we will go to act if you go to act if you see here the focus mode is enabled if you just click on it it will just open a pop-up which will take one one item one by one and here you can switch whether you want to see good or bad first so first let's talk about good okay we were able to finish everything on time appreciate you need to appreciate your team and you can go to bad so here it is listing out one item here we were late to identify the missing files so few users were impacted so how we can overcome it so one teammate is suggesting that we need to have a emailing mechanism like it needs to keep on looking for the particular folder and once the file is not available we need to at a particular time we need to get an email so I'm going to create a task for it or user story whatever you need so let me create as a task which will open up task pop-up so I have created a task where we need to have a logic in Azure logic apps to email in case if file is not available before 5 am UTC and under discussion it will automatically link with the retrospective meeting you will have a reference over here now let's save and close and now here if you see it is showing up in case if you want to unlink it you can unlink it and let's go for the next one and in case if you want to create any issue for it you can just do so from here once done simply close it so we have acted upon it now we are coming to the final part team assessment we will ask all the team member to provide an assessment in the time what team members will do is they will go here and which will open up this pop-up so if you see here all answers will be saved anonymously meaning like your name won't be showing up anywhere let's say for example whether you have clarity on whatever the task assigned to you if so yes if so provide a favorable if you are favorable for it just provide 10 if you are unfavorable you can provide one and here you need to what you are energy sized by the work you do you can just write it and psychological safety you can just provide it over here let's say for example you don't have any work-life balance you can just provide one over here and how confident are you in the team just select it and efficiency of you just you can select and submit it likewise every team member will be providing it after that the scrum master will 
share his screen and they will click on this three dot and they will just click on show retrospective summary and here if you see um, only one participant is there and he uncasted four votes and three feedback items were created and one action the work item we have created right that it is showing up and here if you see how many people have responded to this assessment it will show up here work life balance is poor in that case the scrum master need to address this either he can just simply ask what is the issue over here or he can reach out to every single team member after this meeting to address this particular issue now let's go back here so this is how a retrospective meeting will be connected let's see what are the other options available in retrospective board if you just click on this icon here you will have option to create a new retrospective and in case if you want to create a copy of this you can just do so from here or you can copy the retrospective link so the to share with someone and in case if you want to export this content to csv you can just simply select on this and here in case if you want to email this just create email summary and you can copy this content and you can send it to your client or business or internally so whatever you want to do you can do it and here you have an option to delete retrospective as well that's it on this video we have a lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon then only you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos i'll be providing the whatsapp and telegram channel url in the video description please do join follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you bye bye